unless they know it. That's why the mission has to be memorized. That's how come I can test any company and know whether their mission is just total garbage or useful and an active component. If nobody knows it, <coughs> it's useless. You can't use a mission statement you don't know. Because it's not about, let's go to the conference room and look at our mission statement. It's about, I'm about to make a decision. If I don't keep that mission statement foremost in mind and influencing my decision, then it's not real. It's just a sheet of paper. So you can say in PALS, and, and, and I know when I worked there for six weeks, every action is, what do I need to be doing to delight the customer? Which from a fries person is fairly pragmatic, but it's always pragmatic. I need to get the fries right. I need to get them on time. I need to minimize the waste. End of game. And then at a, at a larger level, I need to help my fellow employee and accept help from my fellow employee when I need to do that to help be part of a bigger system that's delighting the customer. But the 95% of what I'm doing with my day, so those fries have to be right on time. And after I do that, see that's the mission statement, delight the customer. After I do that, then pay attention to the waste. Because the mission statement says, delight's first, waste is second. And, and I keep that in mind all the time. And in fact, one of the, the wonderful coaching tips that I got was, you know, about three or four days in, the, the owner-operator, who, who was personally doing the coaching for me, came out and said, uh, so, you know, it's, it, he gets the bottom line. So all waste comes out of his pocket. Just personally, it doesn't come out of Powell's pocket at all. All waste comes out of his pocket. Um, he said, you're not wasting enough fries for me, David. He said, now stop it. I know what you're doing and quit it. He said, I've, I've watched and now three times in the last hour the bagger has reached over and the fries weren't there. He said, I know they were there within 10 seconds later, but they disrupt that bagger's rhythm if that person reaches and they're not there. And I know why they're not there. It's because you're trying to reduce waste to low a level. You're not dropping enough fries. And therefore, you've got, you're, you're caught a little short. And they're not there when they need to be there. So don't, you you're, you're, you're just need to create more waste. Because, and I went, wow, how profound. That was somebody living the mission statement. See, that's what it told me as, as this role here. It wasn't just BS. And he, he was personally paying money for that because all the fries thrown out coming out of his paycheck. I mean, that is the way the system works. And he said, I want my paycheck lower on waste because I know it'll be higher if I keep my customers delighted. 